right, guys! <laughs> I'm on a dual carriageway, which I just said. Oh, if you're watching the last video, of course, that's what I just said. Okay, a dual carriageway! Yeah. 60. Come on! Let's see how fast you can go. 65. 65. Downhill! There's quite a bit of a breeze! 67! 65. Well, these people are speeding actually. Are they? Okay, I'll let that off a little bit. But anyway, people. Um. <laughs> I, I was saw so common actually recently. Um. A, a GM125 video ride. No blogging, whatever. In it. Got about 20,000 views actually, it's got quite a lot of views. And the comment says, it says, um, yes, the bike will do 60, but I burnt out the engine. It says, I ran it at 16, it burnt out the engine very quickly. But I ran mine at 16, and burnt out the engine. And then it sort of clicked. And um, it clicked why they burnt out their engine running at 60 all day and my man hasn't and i reckon it was the country they live in they probably live in a, uh in europe somewhere maybe with a hot country very hot weather i uh, and because these bikes are air cooled and uh, so i'm gonna make this car talk about air cooled bikes because they're air cooled it means during the summer they are prone to actually cut out air-cooled engines uh, whilst moving very slowly which is quite common when you move slowly there's no air gain to the engine so you can't cool it um, and the problem with the air-cooled bikes especially like this is uh, when you ride in a hot country like probably where they were the, the air is hot and it's nowhere near as cooling as over here in the Brit in Britain, where the air is very cool. In fact, especially today, it's actually cold almost. So it keeps the engine very cold and cool over here. So you can do 60 over here all day without burning out your engine, because I've done 36,000 kilometers, something. That's a lot of miles, and considering air. Uh, an engine, the 125 engine only has a lifespan of around maximum really of 30,000 miles unless you got a Honda CB, unless you got a Honda engine, in which case uh, that life expectancy is about never, there's no end, you know, you just keep going but uh, take, no, take the Suzuki like this, Suzuki engines, Kawasaki engines um, even like even like uh, Kim, Kimco, is it Kimco and Sim, 125 engines, again, lifespan, about 30,000 miles for 125, whether it's a moped or a manual bike like this. Um, so I've done well, because I know I drive at 60 all the time. <laughs> Except now, of course. You know what I mean? I commute every day to crew, doing 60 miles an hour. But it's basically, it's about 15 miles worth of doing 60, and then another 6 miles of doing about 30. And rev the engine quite hard as you try and battle through traffic. So, to answer... Um, basically, I have an air-cooled bike. If you're living in a country, if you're living in a hotter country, or you're riding on hotter days, so ride more slowly. Uh, ride more slow worse, sorry, slowly, slower, slowly. Don't rev it as hard. Um, because, uh, even, I mean, I've only got a fair knowledge of how engines work. Basically, um, law, uh, laws it takes, if I rev the engine harder, the more heat it produces. So you don't want to be riding in fourth all the time either. You need good gearing when it comes to, you need good gear changing when it comes to riding in hot countries and in hot sticky days to avoid your engine overheating. So there you are guys. 
they're sort of well, the pro- there's they're sort of the cons of having a air cooled engine. You got a case from seven. Nice. Am I still riding around with my high vis on? No, my bollocks. <laughs> Took it off. <laughs> got to put it back on. Uh. So uh, I'll see you later. Later, guys. Red safe. Oh, don't forget to comment and subscribe for more blogs. I'm always going to bring a blog to you. <laughs> and okay, see you later.